Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, Carlos. I have been over uh, and also Edwin and ladies. Well, welcome to everyone. Uh, I noticed that there, there, there are some of you who are going to stay here as listeners, like Edwin. And um, I don't know, there are like two people who are not going to be able to participate actively in the class. I have four people still waiting for the rest. How are you, Carlos? I'm fine, sure. I'm You're fine. Uh, That's fine. Uh, okay. Willing to start with the class. Yeah. <laughs> Let us quit a little bit so that the rest of the people gather. Don't worry. Uh, but uh, okay, but listen, Carlos, I don't know if you did the homework. <clears throat> Let's see your verses. Okay, you well, you you're staying as a listener. All right. Over is over here as a listener also. Okay, it's eight o'clock. Eight. Yeah, it's time to start, no right? Tendrá usted, no tendrá usted un, como un... Como algo como... Si me puede ayudar en una entrevista. Fíjese que tengo una entrevista en inglés. A job interview. Yeah, why not? I mean, I can look for info. Okay. Uh -huh. I can look for info, but uh, like uh, to... Like... Um, for for you to have an idea, a general idea about about okay. it. But let me see. Uh, I will I will I will look for a link. Okay. Okay. Si quiero le 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 escribo después del 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 de, de la clase para saber si me lo puede enviar. Yeah. Uh. Well, actually, I got one over here. Okay. I got one link. So you do me the favor to check it there and see about the information that will be in the chat. Okay. Okay, there you are. Thank you, teacher. All right, Carlos. So you're going to find out something like the most common questions about a job interview. Okay. Okay, okay look for it. And, but, well, actually... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I think you're going to encounter the answers there. Mm -hmm. uh, common questions and... And you see, even you have uh, some examples there. Yeah, some examples. Yeah, you have some examples. What type of, uh, where environment do you prefer? Uh, how do you deal with the pressure or stressful situations? Uh, do you prefer working independently or in team or on a team? When you're okay. balancing multiple projects, when do you keep, uh, how do you keep yourself organized? Uh, what did you do in the last year to improve your knowledge? Uh, what are your salary expectations? Mm -hmm. Are you applying for other jobs? Uh, from your resume, it seems uh, you took a gap year. Would like to okay. tell us why that was, etc. Right. So, this may be or this can give you a uh, a general idea about about what's coming soon in your job mm -hmm. interview. Yep, thank you. Okay, now I have Luis. So here, Luis, I didn't see you yesterday in the class, Luis. What happened to you, Luis Reyes? Good evening. Hello, Luis. Wow. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, Luis. Aquí, okay. aquí vamos de camino, aquí vamos de camino. Ah, okay. So, vamos oyendo, vamos oyendo. Okay, that's, that's quite good. Okay, so, well, I will start. I have uh, only six participants, but, you know, I hope uh, tonight we're going to spend a great time together. 
we're going to uh see information well yesterday um i i, I need i saw a, a message in whatsapp about the activities in the platform question have you been working in the platform people have you done this activity for example task number 11 yes or no if you haven't done it yet do me the favor to open your your uh your i mean the the page of the platform so that we can complete all of them okay so do me the favor to go to the platform people yeah let me know if you get it if you got it Si nos escribieron que tenía que ser hasta las 15 horas. Yeah, that's right. That's why I I'm, I'm, I need to be sure that you have already completed everything here. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. this this video was about formation questions and answers. I remember we we saw this activity, but you see, we're gonna we're gonna go over it once again. I have mm -hmm. eight people connected, and I would really appreciate that you participate actively in the class. Okay, people, uh, homework or uh, number 11. Did you get it? Vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer uh, el repaso de las tareas. Okay, y si alguien no las ha completado, háganlas, por favor. Por ahí observé que recibieron un, un mensaje en donde se les pedía que trabajen en todas las actividades de la plataforma. Así que, pues, vamos a, a enfocarnos un poco en estas actividades a modo de que si alguien todavía no las ha terminado, que completarla. Okay, this is very significant to us that you complete all the activities in the platform. Okay, now let me see. Are you ready? ¿Ya se pudieron meter en la, en la plataforma? Ready, teacher. Okay, ready. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Okay, I know there are some listeners tonight, but do me the favor to keep uh, concentrated as, as much as possible. Now, well, this is the task number 11, right? Number 11. It's the first activity. It is the first activity just after the video, right? It's the first video. And it says, read the questions and choose the right uh, double edge question word. Tell me. Uh, teacher, is the, nada más, uh, ¿qué página sería? ¿Qué, qué sesión sería? Okay, this is the session three. Three. Section three. This one. Okay, Luis. Let me know when you get it, please. Did you get it? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to start then with the activities over here so that we can complete all of them. Every single activity over here really matters. Now, do I get a newspaper and we have double H question words? What, when, and where? And at the where? shop. Where? Where do I get a newspaper? At a shop. Yeah. Okay, it's about a place, right? Number two, does the game start on Sunday? When? When does the game start? Yeah, when does when does the game start? On Sunday. Oh. Number three. Do you live here with my brother? Oh. Who? All right. Who? Remember who is about to ask about people. Number four. Do you in your free time I play the guitar? What? What do you, what do you in your free time, okay? 
Number five. Does she go to school by bus? Who? Who? How? how which? How? And when? How? How does she go to school? Let's see the answers. Okay. Now the first one's about where. Second one, when. Third one, who. Number four, what. Number five, how. How does she go to school? She goes to school by bus. Simple like that. Okay. And are you done with it? Do you finish? Did you finish, people? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then, the second activity, okay, task or activity number 11 is done, right? Espero que ya todos lo hayan completado. Let's go over the next. The next one was a topic about how to use simple present information questions. So, the task number uh, 12 is the following. Instructions. And scramble the questions, type them correctly, and don't forget you, you capital letter in the question mark at the end. So uh, I have the first one. Okay, I need to see the answers in the chat, please, people. The first answer in the chat. In the chat. Yeah, in the chat, please. It's because you need to... You need to order, right? It says unscramble the questions. Then type them correctly. Let us use the chat then. Let us use the chat. Okay, the first one, there is somebody who answered in chat. Where do you go to school? Where? Where? It may be like this one. Where do you go to school? Okay, so this is first, right? In the second one, What about the second one? The second one, who do you do? Or oh, what do you do? What do you do, Ellen Nilsson? What do you, what do you do? Okay, good. Number three. Where did John come that from? Question number number three. Okay, somebody did it, right? That's a Lenilson. Okay. Me faltó el capital letter. Yeah, capital letter. El, el, el nombre, el nombre. Yeah, where the, and, and also the, I ah, know, yeah, that's right. And, and John, and John. John. Yeah. Yeah. Now there you are. Where does John come from? In the question mark. Good. That's number three. Number four. Where do you play tennis? Do use the chat. Use it. Okay. Number three, no, number four, where you play tennis too? That is not that difficult, right? Number four, number four, where do you play oh, tennis? Wow. Okay. Where do you play tennis? Good. 
Number five. So the last one. How do they get to work? How do they get to work? <laughs> Okay, just one, just uh, need to see the, the answer in the chat, people. How do they get to work? Okay, let's check it. Okay, that was Ellen Nielsen, right? Now let's see if we if we did it, people. Oh, in the number one, where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Good. Number two, what do you do? What do you do? Number three, where does John come from? Where does John come from? Very good. And number four, uh, where do you play tennis? And look, take a look at the answer. Where do you play tennis? Uh, how did they get to work? How did they get the work? Excellent. Very good. Fantastic. Good job. Okay, after this part, I don't know if there is if there is any question, we can discuss it now. No questions? No, no questions. No. Okay, it's, it's very clear. Now this is a uh, homework number 12, right? Number 13, let's go over Sorry. this one. Any question? So you see yesterday and the day before yesterday, we were talking about time, right? So that's why the exercise about it, how to say the time in English. Now, the first question is what time is it? So what is the best option? People, what time is it? It's a forty or a forty-five. It's a forty-five o'clock, or is at a forty-five. It's forty-five. It's a forty-five. So it's the first one then. The first one, yeah. Okay. So if you agree or disagree, help the group. What time does the class start? What time does the class start? Uh -huh. It starts at six, it starts in six, or it starts on six hundred. Where is the best option here? Hello? Where is the best option here? It starts at six. It's, it's the first then. It starts at six. Good. At six. Number three. What time do you write at work? What time do you write at work? At, a, at about 8.30, at about 8.30, or at about 8.30 o'clock? At about 8. At about 8.30. 8. So the first. Number four. What time does the academy close? Usually on 8 p.m. Usually around 8 p.m. Usually in 8 p.m. What is the best option here? Usually around 8 p.m. This one? Yeah, right? That's that's the one that you said. Usually around 8 p.m. Number five. What time do you usually go to bed? It's 10.45. It starts at 10, 10, 45 and at about 10.45. Okay, so what's the best option here? Uh 
We're almost done. Could you please help me with this part? What time do at you usually go? At about 10.45. 10, 10, 40, 40, 40, 40. At about 10.45. Yeah. Okay, so let's see the answers. Let's check it as quickly as possible. And we will discover if we, if we did it. Para llevar el plato. De red que pediste para llevar. Okay, so you see the answers, all of them were all right. This is quite simple, right? Then, homework 13, right? 13 is the one, this one, right? Then we go with, with this one, that's about Reading a question, right? So actually we solved this one. Okay, let's see the next one. Homework number 14. Introductions, uh, choose between the prepositions of time in on at. So this is about yesterday's class, right? I think I, I want- At teacher. Yeah, the first one. The class is? At. at 9 a.m. Number two, she left London oh. on oh. March 4th. I had a party oh. on my birthday oh. or at my birthday oh. or in my birthday. On. Oh. But you say oh. on? Okay, so oh. we will check later. I graduated from the university. Oh. In. in. In 2001. Number five, she got married September. Um. Um. She got married, they say on September, but what was the rule, people? ¿Cómo iba la regla? ¿Qué nos aprendimos? Um. You say on, right? Um. Yes. Is it right? She got married on September. Yeah. Um. Uh, on. on. I mean, I don't. I wonder why you are saying on. She got married. Yeah. The the thing is that we don't have any specific time. What was the date? El día de la boda. Yeah, but what was that day? Because over there it says she got married. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a specific time. What is the one that we need to use? In, on, or at? On. You continue with the same. In. in. No, it's on. But why do you say it's on? on? Es un día específico, okay. el día de la boda. Uh, okay, so we're gonna see if it is specific or not. Now we're gonna share. I will share. Hey, what's going on? Section three, right? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. No me dijeron nada de hacer. No me dijeron solo uno de res, me dijeron ahorita. Give me a second, please. Give me one second. Okay, in number three, over here. Once, once, ya está terminada, verdad? La 12, la logran terminar. Yep. Ok, la 13. Yep. Ok, y ahora vamos en la 14. Ok. Number 14. 
Uh, they say the classes. At, at 9 a.m. She left London March 4th. On. Oh, now, yes, right. Number three, I had a party my birthday. On. Yes, in. On, in or on? On. I had a party on. in my birthday. I had a party on my birthday. Well, you will see. I will choose on. the one that you are saying. If she says on, well, on. I graduated from university. In. 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 She got married. On. Um. Okay. I will share the answer. You will notice something here. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm working. Yeah, that's just, that's just the mid term, right? Yeah, over here. 12. 13. And 14, this was the last one. And I think this is the last one, right? Number 15. Over here, uh, we're talking about a simple present, okay? She uh -huh. serves. Huh? Restaurant. Restaurant. She serves food restaurant. at a restaurant, right? Uh, they build houses. Construction sinks. Construction site. Construction site. Construction site. She teaches English. Cool. Cool. Okay, but tell me, in, on, or at? Um, school. School. Okay, school. at school. At school. Yeah, she plays instruments. Concert oh. hall. Concert hall. Concert hall. Oh. They love animals. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Now let us check. It. The number one, they serve food in a restaurant. Number two, they make and uh, they, they they build houses, construction site. Construction site. Number three, she teaches English at school. She plays the instrument. Uh, concert, concert hall. Hall. They love animals. Veterinarian. Okay, so you did it. You did it. You did it. Se lo tienen así. Pues tuvieron éxito en la actividad 15. Let's go over the next part. This is going to be the following section, right? How to use prepositions of place. Esta tortilla de cómo son. Okay, so I will stop over here with number 15. So we are done with it. That was really nice. Okay, have 14 people connected. And now you're gonna work in Perth again. Vamos a terminar de trabajar en parejas. Si ustedes se fijan acá, esta es la página 38. Acá tenemos palabras con letras desordenadas, ¿ok? Usted va a escribir la definición de la palabra que está ahí y va a poner qué es lo que ellos hacen. Tenemos 
Una, dos, tres. Okay, so we're gonna spend like mm, like ten minutes or more than that. Ten minutes, and then you're gonna see the questions and prepositions of time. Interview a partner about his or her activities on a typical day of work using information questions and prepositions of time. Okay, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Now, we'll, I will share that. And I want you to start working on it. Now, yes, you can see it better, right? Ahora, tienen 10 minutos para descifrar las palabras que están acá. One, two, and three. Tenemos tres palabras, ¿ok? ¿Qué debemos ordenar? Las van a colocar acá y nos van a dar la definición de lo que ellos hacen. ¿Ok? Now we're going to spend two, four, six, eight minutes. I think eight minutes would be enough. Ocho minutos a partir de este momento, ¿ok? Okay, people. Teacher. Hello, hello. Este es alemán, ¿o qué? No, de, están <laughs> en desorden. Hay que, ah. hay que ordenar las palabras. Ah. <laughs> hay que ordenar las palabras, colocar acá. <risa> es que no me da, yo lo estoy copiando y, y, me sale lo mismo. y le ponemos que, a que, que, cuáles son las actividades que ellos hacen lo mismo la 4 y la 6 ok
Okay, did you get the first one? Did you get the first one, people? We're working in the beach 38. 38, okay. 38, hope that you have just done it. Later, we're gonna go over another activity that's similar to it. Well, actually, I think I, I got, uh, yeah, this is the one people, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not the 30, 38 yet, but 37, 37. Anyways, if you are investigating about this vocabulary, it's all right. But here is where we need to go over it. Sorry, what was my mistake? Number one, number two, number three. You need to provide the word the definition and the activities they do. Okay, whenever you get the answer for number one, so it will be the favor to type it in the chat so that I can include it over here. Okay, give me the first definition, people. Need to see the chat. Let's see to see the answer in the chat. Let me see. I will stop sharing here. Now, what is the first expression? First expression. Okay, I will help you with the first one so that you get the idea. Is that the, is that the answer? Hello? Production. Yeah, production is the first. Production, production. Yeah. What is the definition for production? And what do people do? Ahora que ya saben cuál es, tienen que buscar la definición y qué es lo que las personas hacen en esa área. Lo mismo vamos con la dos y con la tres. Yeah, exactly, Elenilson, production. 
production. Yeah, what about the second? What about the third one? Hello, hello. What about the next part, people? Can you please help me? For chasing number two. Yeah, all right. Very good. Number two is about part chasing. Hey, but for actually, chasing. yeah, production. What's what's production all about? Now, I will help you. I will share the information in the chat about production. What do people in the in production do? Look at the chat, please. That's what you need to get there. Production. Okay, that's production. What about the next one? And somebody said purchasing, right? But what is purchasing all about? Purchasing. Yeah, what is a purchasing? What do they do? What do they do? Purchasing. Ahorita estoy buscando purchasing. Remember, we started this in the book previously. It's in the book. Can somebody help me with this one, people? With purchasing? Or do you want me to help you? Look at the chat, because I have the info over here. Look at the chat. What's purchasing? Look at the chat, take notes and answer it. They buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc., for the use, for the use of. of of the organization. The organization, exactly. Ellen Nielsen, exactly. Now, what about the third word? ¿Qué me dicen de la tercera palabra o la tercera frase? Human resources man management. Okay. Human. human. Okay. Or Res human. Let me see. Production number three. Human resources Management. Management. What, what's management. All, what, what's all about? Human resources management? ¿Qué me pueden decir de esa, de esa persona? They, rec they recruit, select, and train new... And check new profiles. Okay, look at the chat. I will show you there so that we can... We can, we can, uh, I mean, we can get the whole info. Human resources management. They recruit, select, and, and train new employees. Select and train employees for the right job in for, the company. Excellent. That's the way it is, Ellen Nielsen. Okay. And the last one. What about the last one? Number... <laughs> Four. No, number three. Three. I know it's it's yeah, that's right. You are you are right. So it's number four, right? Yes. 
es research in development. Yo sí. Ajá. Research and no sé cómo se pronuncia develop, development de, development uh, research and development yeah that's it research and development yeah but what is all about well I will I will choose it I will paste it in the chat let me see and develop design you are improved exciting product on this process no mm. no now we are with That is with number two in the second part, right? Okay, we gather information about this and also about um, this. Develop, develop, design you or improve. Or improve. Of process, not so high. Number four. Number four. Where is number four? Uh, research. Number four is research. Definition. 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 Uh -huh. What's the definition there? They Marketing. develop design. They develop design you or improve existing product or process. No. ¿Por cuál están ahorita? En la no en la número el número tú dice tú. Research and development. They were direct toward the innovation, introduction, and improvement of products and process.
انا بدري في ماركتنج Okay, people, did you finish with this info? Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Are you there? Are you there? Number four. Uh -huh. Aha. Mark marketing. Number number six, accounting, accounting and finance. Finish. Now, what was the first one? What is, I mean, what is number two all about? Research, research and development. Okay, research. And development. Research. And development, right? Okay, now look for the, I mean, for for information about what the, these people do. What do what do they do? I mean, research and development. What do they do? In the next one, marketing, the beneficial, I mean, uh, marketing, definition, and what do they do? And number six, accounting and finance, definition, and what do they do? Are you done with it? Well, I will ask some of you maybe to die. Something happening here. Okay, Luis, did you get the definition about the about number two? Luis Reyes? Hello, Luis. Ellen Nilsson. Carlos Josue. Well, I need I need you to share what you have done there. Well, they did develop the same or improve you exiting product. Our process. Okay, thank you, Carlos. What about marketing? That's what you are saying, marketing? Accounting, I oh know that that's yeah, accounting and finance. What can you tell me about it? 
Accountant finance. In finance. In finance. Yeah. What is all about? Definition finance. and activities they do. Chair, uh, yo tengo la definición de marketing. Uh, thank you. Go ahead with marketing then. Set of techniques and students to have to uh, provide three marketing of production. Marketing students are essential for three commercial launch and production. Okay, thank you. Okay, now I think it's been enough, right? So if you haven't finished it, do me the favor to finish it as soon as possible. Okay, now in here, we have some uh, prepositions of time. You have to interview. What's the meaning of the word interview, people? Interview? It says interview a partner about his or her activities on a typical day at work using information questions and prepositions. So this is what you're going to complete tonight. Uh, activities that the person develops in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. They need to be over here. Okay. Um, it says this interview a partner, right? So we're going to Working pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Bueno, preguntarle a un compañero acerca de sus actividades en un día común y corriente en el trabajo, usando informaciones, I mean, usando preguntas abiertas y preposiciones de tiempo, que es lo que estuvimos viendo, viendo ayer, ¿ok? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Now I will create the, the, the couples. Voy a crear las parejas para que puedan interactuar y trabajar en eso. Okay, I have uh, 15. I think it would be nice to work in, in groups of five. So let us start. En su trabajo, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? En su sí. trabajo, dijo. Sí, actividades, lo, lo típico del día, ajá, en el trabajo. Uh, what do you do at the work in the morning? ¿Qué haces en tu trabajo en la mañana? Um... Sería, digamos,
telefónicas. Jessica. My activity is. Con el, eh, con, con. Which other person at nine a.m. a tarde mm, hacer facturaciones. Vaya, eh, recibir llamadas de lunes a viernes por la mañana. Jessica, en la tarde dijo. Hacer facturaciones. Hacer. Do. ¿Cómo que de facturaciones? Eh. ¿En qué horas haces? En las 2 pm lo voy a poner. De 1 a 5 de la tarde. She make El one makes one. bills. Oh. So, en la tarde, en la noche mm, En la noche recibir las clases de inglés Ay, ¿qué pasó? Yeah Fica Estudiar At night Hello, hello, are you done with it? Hello, everyone. Are you done with the activity? Fatima, Juan, Denise, Obed. Well, I think time is being enough. Let me see, I will check. Okay, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Now I could hear some of you practicing the activity. Okay, now, yes, I have Daniela, Denise, Jessica, and the rest of the people, okay? Yeah, I think it's been enough, okay. Now, what did you get from the activity, people?
Tell me the information about one of your classes. What does he or what does she do in the morning? Fran sleeps in the work. Fran lives, sleeps at work. Okay. In the work. At work. Okay. Yeah, at work. Que no hace nada en el trabajo. Él. Yeah, I mean, he sleeps at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what about in the afternoon? Fran plays PUBG at 2 p.m. Okay. One plays soccer? No. PUBG. Ah, PUBG. Video game. Yeah. Video game. Okay. Video he game. plays video games in the afternoon. What about in the evening? Frank cook in the restaurant at night. At night. Very good. Only Frank. Did you get some other info? Jessica called other people at night a.m. Jessica calls. Calls, yeah. Other people at night. Okay? In the afternoon? Jessica makes bills at 2 p.m. Good. In the evening? Jessica studied at night. Jessica studies at night. Thank you Sorry. very much. Do you have some other info? More info, more info? Okay, Carlos Josué, right? Now, is yeah, there, that, yeah, is there yeah, any that, other? Other people, saying yeah. Oh, you have some other people, okay, go ahead. Thank you. Do you finish? Well, thank you, I think. I think you already finished, right? Now, is there any, any other participant who wants to participate now? Well, if there are no other participants, let's go over this part. Okay, now, uh, well, I will give you, now you see, we're gonna go over uh, giving and, and asking directions in English, okay? We're gonna be able to, Describe the location of my of my and other square place. Okay, so over here we're gonna see uh, different locations, right? There's a map about the city. There are different vocabulary related to uh, business or uh, different uh, places in the in the in the city. We have avenues and we have streets, right? Okay, but what are you gonna do? Well, over here it says, listen to your teacher and read the following places from the map. Well, listen to the first one, bank, sport palace, school, mall, first avenue, park, second avenue, church, city hall, Oh, restaurant, arrows company, book word. And that's it, like, like you, we have like two, four, six, seven, seven, we have 10 places, 10, 12, 14 places, right? And what are we gonna do? Well, in which street is the restaurant on restaurant? Where's the restaurant? Where do you where where are you in the map? Well, I think it's better if we if we do the following. Um, do me the favor to investigate now in the internet how to give and how to ask uh, directions in English. So, váyanse a a navegar el internet y a buscar información acerca del tema. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Sería como dar direcciones. 
sí, van a investigar ahorita en el internet cómo preguntar y cómo dar direcciones en inglés. Ok. Do me the favor to investigate that. Investiguen unos 10 minutos acerca de eso y ya luego vamos de lleno con lo que está acá. Teacher, me repite lo, lo que acaba de decir porque me sacó la, la plataforma. Ya, yeah. of course, don't worry. Van a, van, ahorita van a, surf, van, a surf, van a navegar el internet y van a buscar información de cómo pedir y cómo dar direcciones en inglés. Ok. Eh, frases, um, a lo mejor una conversación, algo que ustedes pues consideren es importante para el tema, bienvenido. ¿Cómo pedir una, una dirección en inglés? ¿Cómo dar indicaciones en inglés para llegar a un determinado lugar? ¿Ok? Vale, les vamos a dar, vamos a dar cinco. Right to right. Sorry, sorry, Carlos. To left, to ah, right. Ok, very good, Carlos. Turn left, turn right, go straight ahead for two blocks, etc. Right. Per second, etc. On the left, on the right, go, go a string along. Good. Go That's the info, right. Carlos. Okay, I will I will give you 10 minutes for you to get ready with some info. Va a tener 10 minutos para investigar y ya luego, después de esos 10 minutos, eh, me hacen saber qué es lo que encontrar. Okay, 10 minutes, people.
Okay, get some expressions uh, to provide location. Or maybe if you find out the conversation would be really nice. Okay, five minutes more, five minutes. Okay, I hope that you have gotten a lot of info. Okay, hope you have gotten a lot of information about giving and asking directions in English. We're still missing like two or three minutes and then we will start, okay? Okay, any volunteer about giving and asking directions? Maybe you took, uh, you copy and paste 
uh, some info so that you can share it with the group now. Ellen Nielsen, I think. Uh, um, investigation direction. Uh, go straight on. Uh, turn left. Turn right. Or make a left or make a right. And for example, turn left of the traffic light. So for example, to the museum you are looking for is located in the north of the city. And a prepos preposition. Oh, uh, to work in front at next to down up between use on in at Okay, that was it? Uh, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, is there any other participant? Yo encontré una como conversación. Okay, Carlos Jose. Mm. Uh, do you want to share it with the group? ¿La tienen yeah. un documento Word? No. ¿O un PDF? No, pero... Yo puedo enviar a... Ah, please, share it into the group so that we can see it. Lo leo primero, si quiere. Yes, please, Carlos. Vaya. The lost person. Excuse me. Can you tell can you tell me how to get to the cathedral, please? Yes, of course. Let, you, let me see. Okay. What should I align this around? Continue on this side of the round until. See you the traffic light? and it takes the second, the left. You will see the cathedral on the other side of strip is a big, good building. La persona me pregunta, me dice, me dice, me pregunta, is this a farm? No, no at all. It's a kidney up about 10 men on foot. And for your help, may help you. No, all, all you're welcome. That's it. Thank you very much, Juan Car uh, Carlos Jose. Is uh, there? Thank you very much. Is there any other participant? Yeah, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Jessica. Jennifer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I saw Jessica was or oh, had her microphone open. Okay, Jennifer, go ahead. Um, excuse me. Me how I can head to three city center station foods. That was it. Hello, Mr. Teacher. Yeah, okay, so thank you very much. Now, who got more info about giving and asking for directions? No more? Let me see, there is somebody in the chat. This person said, well, ah, Carlos is sharing the link. Thank you, Carlos. You're welcome. Uh, any other person who wants to participate in the class? Henry? Hey, I haven't heard you. I haven't he he heard your voice tonight, Henry. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, <laughs> sí, fíjese que um, le di pegar a la información y lamentablemente no me la copió. Pero si gusta, un minuto y creo que estoy listo. 
Okay, so you will you'll be given your minute. Okay. Uh, well, me, while you continue there, let's see if Denise got something else. Denise. Gabriela, are you there, Gabriela? Edwin, okay, very good, Edwin. Edwin is sharing information there, right? Edwin is interacting, but in a different way tonight. He is providing even some links that can be useful for you. Well, if you don't have more info, let's go over the activity. In the book, okay, info that we have here. Now, you know what a bank is, right? Bank. You know what mall is. What's mall in Spanish, people? Supermercado. Centro Comercial. Yeah, that's right. So we have a bank. We have a mall. We have a restaurant. We have sport palace. We have a park. We have Arrows Company, we have school, we have church, we have city hall. What city hall? Alcaldía. Yeah, you know, the city hall. How do you say alcalde in English then? Mayor. That's a mayor, right? Book, word, etc. We also have uh, streets and we have uh, First Avenue, Second Avenue. Okay, I think it's it's enough, right? Now over here, which street is uh, is the restaurant on? The restaurant, okay. Take a fair avenue. First avenue? Yeah. We're talking about the restaurant, right? Third Avenue and Roosevelt Street. And Roosevelt Street. First Avenue. Okay, very good. Now I got it. Thank you. What about the second question? Which street is the city hall on? The second avenue. Second, second avenue. avenue. It take left. And turn left. Or right. No. Oh. oh no. Think about it. Let me know when you have it. Which street is the city hall on? You have the street, the name of the street there. And the other one you have in the same question is, which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the city hall on? City hall. It's over here, right? So it's on Second Avenue. It's on Second Avenue. Uh, which street is the park on? In front the church on Second In front of? The second avenue make no, uh, no the second avenue repeat the second avenue and take 
the left. And then turn to the left. Okay. To the left. To the left. Okay, very good. That's the city hall, yeah. right? Um, in the park also. Now let's see if we have, if we are lucky and we can just go over this part. Let me see if there's somebody in the chat. Okay, Edwin is continuing sharing info there. Good, Edwin. Well, I will close this and let's see if we have the opportunity to go over here. Uh, this is the exercise that's in the book regarding to giving an ask, uh, I mean, giving direction and asking for directions. Do the preparation exercise if you listen and then look at the map and listen to directions while you do the other exercises. You have some instruction here. Do the preparation exercise before you listen, then do the other exercise to check your understanding and the preparation and et cetera, right? So we have the transcript here. I will play it and you will listen to it carefully. A. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library and it's the building next to the library on the left. B. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights, you'll see a shop on the right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. C. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left, go past the theatre. It's the building the theatre, opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop, opposite the cafe. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. Okay, and that to is... find others like it, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English teens. Okay, thank you. Uh, you have the link of the of the exercise in the chat, but uh, uh, I need you to investigate about everything related to this uh, later. I mean, to this transcript. So for example, when you say go straight, go straight on, then take the first left on the Green Street, walk past the library and it's the building next to the library on the left. Now, uh, do me a favor to look for new vocabulary in case you, you see it there. The letter B, well, I, I think it's better if I play it again. Listen. A. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library and it's the building next to the library on the left. B. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights. You'll see a shop on the right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. 
see. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre, opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop opposite the cafe. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find other Okay, let's check the, the information we got. Given directions, the the speaker, okay, in the in the first one, the speaker gives direction to whom? Huh? The shop. Okay, this this is uh the letter A, right? Go straight no. on. Then take the first uh, left on the Green Street, walk past the library, and it's the building next to the library on the left. Okay. The library. The library. Say the library? Yep. Yeah, but the speaker gives direction to the library. Okay, dice que entonces toma la, la primera a la derecha, izquierda. En la calle Green Street, pasas a la librería, después al edificio, el siguiente, la librería está a la, de, a la izquierda. On the left. All right. Now that's about the speaker gives direction to the? The library. Library. To the library. Let it be, the speaker gives direction to that. The shop. That's in the in the letter B, right? Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights. You will see a shop on this right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. B. The shop. To the shop. Let us see. Mirima. Mirima. The speaker gives the directions. Let's see. Let us see. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. What's the roundabout in Spanish, people? Redondelo. Okay. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theater. Is the building next to the theater opposite to the hospital. What about letter C? The hospital. To the hospital. Okay. The speaker gives the reason to die in the letter D. Bad conversation, please. Let's see the conversation then. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and take the second right on the King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the uh, bookshop opposite to the cafe. The cafe. The cafe? Yep. Well, we will see. The cafe. It's is the coffee the coffee or co or cafe? Yeah, let me see. It's no. This is this is the this is the place. Cafe. Yeah, this is the place. This is the place. Yeah, this okay. because coffee coffee is like. Is it tomar? Yeah, that will left right. So coffee is like uh -huh. this. Uh -huh. But the cafe, that is the es place. Como un silver or... Yeah. On. Para leer y tomar café. Yeah. 
Okay. To the cafe. So we're gonna check what's going on here. We fail somewhere over here, right? Yeah. We will see the feedback. No. Show answers. This is the one. Okay. The speaker gives direction to the post office. That is the first one. Go straight on. Now, go straight on. Okay, over here. Mm -hmm. Then take the first left. Take the first left. So it may be over here, right? Mm -hmm. On the green street. Walk past the library and it's the building next to the library. To the post office. Yeah, post office, right? So then the post office. In the letter B, the speaker gives direction to the underground station. Uh -huh, what did you get there? Underground the station. The speaker gives direction to the underground station. That's the letter B, right? next to the shop. Well, so do the favor to, to, I mean, do the favor to finish it and look for the vocabulary over here. Look for the vocabulary. You also have some extra exercises here. <sighs> I, I will check the list, I which I mean, I will copy the link because it's a, it's a good one. And I will share it with you in the chat. Get on link. Yeah, it's there. You can find it out in the book also. Well, giving an answer directions, right? So now I will, I will switch. I will go over the next, which is over here. You, you have the links over here. And in the map, well, we studied about the map, right? So we know where the bank is, the sport palace, the school, the church, the city hall, and the book were arrows company and the restaurant and the mall, right? So over here, which street is the restaurant on? Street. Which street is the restaurant on? Roosevelt Street, right? It's because the restaurant is over here. Okay, let's see. Which street is the park on? The park street. It's between Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street. So there, there is the information about it. Now, I hope you finish this part because now I, I need to I need to notice about this. Uh, well, you know, we continue talking about on, we continue talking about in, and we continue talking about in on and at. 
In the first, on. When do we use on, people? On 4th Avenue? Uh-huh. Read the on other one. On the ones. corner. On the corner. On the, car, on the street. On the street. Good. Now, in. What can you tell me about in? In El Salvador. In El Salvador. In San Salvador, in the park, in the park, in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood, in the supermarket, in, at the mall, etc. Right? All right. So in in. Let's go over the next. At, okay. at the meeting room. Uh huh. At work. At work. And at the back. At the back. Now, we're going to complete. Now, on, you already know about the different uses, right? When we talk about avenues, huh? um, I mean, corners, etc. On the street, also. Corner and esquina. Yeah, that's right. In, we say in a summer, in some summer, in the park, in the neighborhood. What's the neighborhood, people? Colonia. Yeah, all right. At the meeting room, at work, and at the bank. Okay, now we are almost done with it. Uh, do me the favor to work in this part. Uh, trabajen en el ejercicio 5. Voy a pasar no la work. lista. Yeah. <laughs> okay, homework. <laughs> okay. Now, hey, but if you have that homework, you are going to get another homework. Van a hacer un mapa. Okay. Del lugar donde ustedes trabajan. Y nos lo van a presentar. ¿Qué es lo que hay ahí adentro? O sea, eh, ¿cómo moverse en ese lugar? Si hay una adentro, oficina. Del, yeah. ¿Adentro del lugar o cómo no, llegar? En, 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 yeah, no, ¿cómo, ¿cómo llegar? Así como lo vimos acá, por ejemplo, acá. En el, okay. Así acá, okay. perdón. ¿Ok? Ustedes eh, lo plasman así este, con, con sus alrededores y luego nos dicen cómo Hacemos ubicar. Un Sí, por favor. ¿Cómo ubicar? Para, para el lunes. ¿no? Sí, para el lunes. Y esta actividad también. That's a homework. Yeah, that's a homework. Okay. Yeah. That is a homework. And let me see. I, I think it's enough. Let me see. I will check. Hey, but meanwhile, do me the favor to work in this part. Mientras este, yo paso la lista, trabajen ustedes en el ejercicio 5, por favor. Okay, Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Denise. Oh, Edgardo. Present teacher. Edwin Osvaldo. Edwin is there, I can see. Don, don. Mm -hmm. Ellen Nilsson. Present teacher. Eh, Esperanza. I saw Esperanza there. Evelyn Janira. Evelyn Janira, are you there? Fatima Michel. I saw Fatima there. Gabriela Hasmin. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela, that's very. Henry. Present teacher. <clears throat> Jennifer Guadalupe. Jennifer. Jennifer. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos is not 
here either. Julio Cesar. Absent also, right. Carla is there. Ladies? Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Jose? Present teacher. Hey, Luis. Obed is there, I guess I saw Obed. Present teacher. Okay, Wendy, Carolina. William. Wendy, Carolina. William, Jennifer Madali. Or Madali, I'm sorry. I saw Jennifer. Jennifer was there, right? And Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, so we are more than done with it. Well, you know, it's Friday. And I think that you have been working really hard during this week. Let me see if there's somebody in the chat. That's Fatima. Okay, Fatima. Thank you. I think you have had a very, I mean, a, a great week. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know if you're gonna, if you go to work or if you stay home, well, the activity you do, it's, it's all right. So we are almost done with this, with the activities and well, we finished the activities in the in the platform, right? Terminaron las actividades en la plataforma. Hasta la 15. Recuérdense que por ahí eh, les hicieron un llamado para que recordemos a trabajar siempre la, la plataforma. Well, over here is where you can describe the location of a view and other people in the workplace. Well, I think it's enough, right? Well, I think we miss this one. We miss this one. No, it's the one. Uh, teacher. Hello? Teacher, fíjese que yo hasta ahorita estoy ya acá en casa. Y pero yo tomé captura del ejercicio que estaba haciendo al inicio que pidió que hiciéramos de la plataforma. Pero este en to, no sé por qué en todas me da error si lo escribí tal cual eh, eh, se requiere. ¿En qué estará el error? Mm, pues veamos. Enviaré una captura. Ya. Yeah. ¿Qué ejercicio dice que era? Perdón. El once. Yes, yes, yes. I do. Vale, si es el once, esta es opción múltiple. Vale, si lo tiene así. Eh, where do I, where do I get, where is eh, la primera? No, uh, no teacher. Eh, eh, es el, el 14 o 15 donde sale la, donde sale, eh, donde tenemos que escribir, por ejemplo, where it does you come from? Or, or where it do you play tennis? No, es que ponerle, cuando termine la frase, no le, no le pongas espacio al signo de interrogación. Tiene que quedar junto. Ajá, yo así me salí al principio, pero de, después lo arreglé y, quedó, y me salió bien. Ah, listo. Voy a Entonces, probar. No le pongas sí. espacio a la al signo de interrogación. Esa es la dificultad de trabajar en la plataforma, que si, digamos, usted no le coloca un punto, en la plataforma no reconoce la, la respuesta correcta, como correcta, no la toma como correcta. Entonces, en la plataforma, por eso este, le solicitamos que, que verifiquen bien, ¿verdad? Y el la principio respuesta... de, cada de, de cada palabra tiene que ir mayúscula. Exacto. 
mayúsculas cuando haya que escribir mayúsculas, minúsculas cuando haya que hacerlo. Y al final lleva el punto, ¿verdad? Al final lleva el punto, sí, si sí, antes... Ajá. Todos esos detalles hay que observar. Yes, yes, I do. Ese teacher, entonces el lunes dejaría, tendríamos que hacer el mapa, el croquis de, de, de el lugar donde nosotros laboramos. Sí. Y, y, y presentarlo, ¿verdad? Y presentarlo. Yes, But, yes, yes. Yeah. Ahora, let me see. Bueno, yo les di 10 minutos ahora para que investigaran, ¿verdad? Cómo dar indicaciones referente a un lugar. Y cómo... Um, ¿Cómo pedir también? O sea, eso es algo que, que siempre igual le va a quedar de tarea porque eso hay que, hay que trabajarlo más y hay que, hay que memorizar, ¿verdad? Hay que memorizar, no es malo memorizar, ¿ok? Eh, ahora, no podemos memorizarlo todo, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos este, la, las frases más significativas que nos ayuden a, a pedir ayuda o a dar ayuda para eh, localizar un lugar, es bienvenido. Ok. Ok, gracias, teacher. Thank okay. you. Now, is there any other question? No question. So, if you don't have comments or questions, vamos a quedarnos acá. Espero que su fin de semana esté lleno de bendiciones y que puedan descansar lo suficiente. See you on Monday. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.